What's up YouTube, it's Zinazor here, and today I have a video for you on how to put a ROM on the Droid X or Droid 2. This ROM is the Apex 1.4.1 ROM, and it works for the Droid X and Droid 2. You can be running Android Froyo to install this ROM. Uh, this ROM includes things like overclocking, um, it has an AEW launcher built in, so you can have tons of effects. Uh, accelerometer control for the home screen just a lot of cool stuff that makes your phone run faster cleaner and look better the UI is really intuitive and I prefer it over the stock Motorola kind of not really that good UI it's not very good at all most people don't like it most people complain about it and that is why people make ROMs for phones so without further ado um, let's get into this so the Apex 1.4.1 ROM, like I said, runs on Droid X and Droid 2. So in the description of the video, I'll have a link for the uh, for the Droid Forum, Droid Forum, and there's a link. There's uh, two links: the Droid X version 1.4.1 and the Droid 2 version 1.4.1. I have a Droid X, as you can obviously tell. So I'm gonna download the Droid X one. So when I click on the Droid X one. Window pops up, and window is Mediafire. In Mediafire, it's going to say Fabulous Apex 1.4.1. Zip, and it's going to say click here to download. Once you download that, it's going to appear in your browser downloads, and this is what it is Fabulous Apex version 1.4.1. Zip. You want to put that on your desktop to make everything look like this. So when you put it on your desktop, you're going to have a folder called Fabulous Apex version 1.4.1.zip. You put that on your desktop, and then you connect your phone and turn it on to USB um, debugging, enable that, and put it on USB mass storage. How you do that is you take the phone, let me zoom out here, take the phone, Pull down this bar, make sure it's connected by USB, see, USB, USB connected, so you pull down the bar, and you go to USB debugging connected, that's enabled, and you go to USB connection, and make sure it's on USB mass storage, not all, not any of the others, but USB mass storage, so you click OK, and your computer will recognize this as another drive, so what you do, you go to Windows Explorer, and you can open up you can go into computer and you go into removable disk F. That is what my computer recognizes my phone as. It might be different for yours or if you renamed it then it will be different but either way your computer will recognize your phone hopefully and then you can put the file on. So the file is over here right there. You click it and you drag it here. So you have this, and you put it on the root of the SD card. Do not put it anywhere else, just the root. So I already put it on there, and you can see it says Fabulous Apex version 1.4.1.zip on my SD card. So what I'm going to do then is just uh, go over here, right-click on Removable Disk F, and uh, go to Eject. Don't ever pull it out, because if you have it open bad stuff could happen so always click eject first okay so now that's all you have to do basically for the computer you can disconnect your phone uh, but I'm not going to do that right now so what you need to do is you need to download um, a couple things well actually you can do more than one thing but uh, only one is needed what you need to download is uh, the Koosh Droid X Recovery Bootstrap or the Koosh Droid 2 Recovery Bootstrap um, both of these will uh, run the Clockwork Recovery Mod on your phone and um, basically the, the app does cost money. Um, I have a video on how to do all this stuff without um, costing money for you. I'll put a link in the description but let's not talk about how to get the app. Let's just talk about once you have it. So once you have it, go over here. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I am running the Apex ROM. So um, so the Droid X uh, Bootstrapper right here. So it's going to give you two options: Bootstrap Recovery and then Reboot Recovery. 
what you need to do is click bootstrap recovery first click on it it's gonna click success and then reboot recovery your phone will reboot into clockwork recovery mod you should see a green screen uh... it's gonna be uh... black and with green icons and the way you scroll through it is with the volume rocker and to select something you have to click the camera button same thing goes for the droid 2 so it's booting up and that's the green screen i was talking about green icons so what you have to do to uh... install the apex rom you have to first um, wipe your cache partition so click camera button and there are a bunch of no's and then one yes. The yes is the one with the with the extra letters. That will allow you to wipe your cache. Then you have to scroll down and click on that. Then once you do that, do wipe data slash factory reset. That's the third one down. You camera button and then you do the same thing. And by doing this you're er erasing all data on your phone. So um the um cautious of that that you don't do anything stupid and then not want the ROM so first I have a video on a review of it so go check that out first so that you definitely know you want the ROM and you don't and you're not going to be spending your time doing this and wiping your data just to figure out you really don't want the ROM so check it out first and then what you do is you go down it's the um Install zip from SD card. It is the fifth one down. So click camera button. And you have four options. Uh, go one down. So it's choose zip from SD card. Then you have a bunch of stuff appear on the screen. You're, um, for me, I have two apexes. Uh, one just says apex. And then if I go all the way up and then now to the bottom of the list, it says fabulous apex. Don't click on Apex. Click on Fabulous Apex and make sure it says the version number. So if I click on this, it's highlighted on Fabulous Apex. Let's see if I can get that into focus. If not, it doesn't really matter. So I click the camera button on Fabulous Apex. And then it's going to give me the same thing with the options. When you click Yes, it will do this whole thing with the phone. It will start like resetting. You're going to see a screen pop up like loading and then it's going to reset the phone and the first boot up is the longest one it's going to take really long like at least a minute to two minutes sometimes in five minutes i've heard because your phone is just getting used to the first initial boot up and it's just getting used to installing the new rom so that is normal and you're going to ha hear a really loud noise and that's going to be the apex boot up you're going to have a flashing apex sign that turns green and white so um when that's done, your phone will turn to normal and you'll have to set it up just like you did when you got it. So, I'll have all the links in the description here. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. hope this was helpful. If not, tell me what I could have done better. So, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will have more videos soon.